Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Iron Peck, and today I'm coming to you guys with a tutorial on how to save your HP stream uh, around 2016, 2017 model, I want to say. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'll try to add a picture of it um, in the video. Um, basically, what happens to these devices is that they run out of space off of Windows and Windows updates alone. Um, these devices have something called EMMC, and it's only 32 gigabytes um, on some devices. I think the newer models have like 64 gigabytes, but these, this model I'm, I'm particularly talking about is a 32 gigabyte uh, model. And what's so frustrating about this is there, because it's an EMC, it's soldered into the board. So it's not like a normal laptop or desktop where you can, you know, change our hard drives or SSDs and, you know, put in a bigger one and fix that problem that way. Because it's solder, you just stuck with it. Or so they think you are. So today I'm going to show you something that you can do to stream. Um, and that's more, I'm not going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. It's not going to be, I'm going to, um, you know, go with me because I'm already in the process of doing it. But I thought this would help a lot of people because I used to work at a um, repair facility. And what would happen was a lot of customers would buy these refurbished computers with us. And they're like, hey, we can't do anything with them because we don't have any space on them. Or they want a refund. And it's literally, there is something we can do, but we couldn't do this in a repair facility. Um you really only have two options. And the second option I am not fond of by any means, it's putting the device into Windows S mode, which is a really dumbed down version of Windows 10. And you can't do things like uh, command prompt. You can't um, download third party software. Um, everything you have to download is from the Windows store. And what's Sucks about that, as as much as I love Windows, the Windows Store isn't the greatest thing alive. And because of that, it's almost like Windows version of a Chromebook. And I can't stand Chromebooks. I'm not a fan of Chromebooks. I'm a fan of Chrome, but not a Chromebook. So to give you an idea of what we're doing, we're going to expand the storage using something like an SD card, or you can do this with the USB drive. Um, I prefer the SD card method. It's not the fastest speed that you're going to get, but it's the most low profile way you can do it without having, you know, sacrifice a, a USB port. So um, I'm just going to kind of, I'm not going to do it because I've basically already done it, but I'm going to kind of guide you on what to do. So, what I did was, for this purpose, first thing I did was I ran a disk cleanup as an administrator mode. So what you would do, and I'm not going to do it, but I'll kind of kind of give you an idea of what to do. I ran, you run, type in disk, and it should pop up. Now, you can use as clean up system files and what will happen is you'll see an added option up here you see how it says downloaded programs temporary an option would say a uh, windows update cleanup and basically what that would do is it would um clean up the updates you may have seen it running a little bit when i first started this video it clears out all those old updates that windows had like windows tends to store old updates so that's why in case something bad happens you can kind of revert back to it but it does take up space so what you would do just like let's say this was it where this downloaded program files was you would click that um that windows update cleanup and you would hit okay and then you would see windows start cleaning up all these files um when i did it i had cleared up like four gigabytes worth of uh, old updates. And when you do that, you know, you can either um, do the, the SD trick what I'm about to show you. So if you want to skip over, that's fine. 
but I want to show you something else um, or tell you something else I did also um, to help the stream out. So after that was completed, what I wind up doing is I wind up running Windows Media Tool Creation. And what I wanted to do was I wanted the most updated version of Windows, but I didn't want it to stack up all those updates to get it. So what we did was we created a media, um, either a USB um, drive, and you know basically made a Windows 10 install with the latest updates and everything on it, and we popped it into the computer and we reinstalled Windows all together. The reason why we did the disk cleanup first is because you may not have space because Windows has to save files in order to, so in other words, it has to add to your storage, files to your storage to initiate, like let's say a reinstall. Well, we cleared up some disk space so Windows won't give you like an error message whenever you try to reinstall Windows. Um, I've seen that happen before um, and this is how we were able to get it done by clearing some space off of it. So once we did the Windows 10 install, um, we didn't have all that HP bloatware that comes from the factory. We just had a raw copy of Windows um, 10. Um, and it's, it's bloatware, unfortunately. But we also ran something, and you can check this out on Jay's Two Cents. It's called uh, Windows 10 de Bloater, the bloatware or something like that. And you can download that. And what that does is it's a PowerShell script and it goes through Windows and it kills a lot of the unnecessary stuff of when that Windows 10 come up. So you know how it has Candy Crush, um, a couple of other programs, how, you know, that people don't really need for Windows 10 to run. I mean, um, it's up to you. I, I think, I mean, unless you like it, I think it actually kind of gets rid of Cortana. Um, so that saves you space as well. Um, an, um, another thing you can do also is I haven't done it on this computer, but you can disable Windows 10. That would be a whole nother video, but there's a trick where you can trick the connection, internet connection and thinking it's metered. And so if you click a setting, Windows won't update if it thinks you on a meet on a metered connection and all that, that'll be for another day. But this is the meat and potatoes what i want to show you guys and i want to wrap this video up so what i did was and you're gonna have this problem no matter what if you look on my local disk after we did all that you're gonna only see like i said we have five gigabytes of space which is great so that's five gigas but eventually windows update because i didn't do that trick it's going to probably eat that up but if you notice, I have something, an SD card with the D drive on it. So I popped in a, a um, SD card, and which is, I think it's like another 64 gigabytes or something. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, 64 gigabytes. But what I do now is, you see these folders? These are called your library folders or, you know, your main folders of Windows where you, all your pictures, music documents, whatever you download, they go to these folders. Well, instead of, well, on default, these are most of the time always gonna be on your local disk, your C drive, um, wherever Windows is installed. These are gonna be on that same drive. Well, what we did was, we kinda used the SD card as a mini hard drive. When we did that, we basically remap these folders and we did it like this you go to you find that download folder you hit properties and on this tab of location you can have the option to move this drive so for instance whenever you click move this is asking where you want it so i just click this select the folder and then once i clicked it I hit OK and it moved everything to this SD card. OK, so I did that with all this. So every time I download something, it's not going to this drive. It's going straight to downloads. 
okay, when a document or everything, um, I, I it goes to this pictures, music, videos, it all's going to this SD card. And like I said, we did that because we don't want this to get too full to where it's going to say, hey, nothing, you can't even do anything. So she should be fine. Now, the down draw of this, and I'm going to show you, and you guys can't see it, I'm going to take this SD card out for a second. Hopefully it does not crash. <laughs> I don't think it will. All right, I took out that SD card, and you see how everything disappeared? Yes, so you have to keep this in at all times once you do this. Basically, your SD slot will become useless. But if you're like me, I don't really use SD cards. Only time I use it, I popped it in and you see everything just back up. Um, I don't use the SD cards that much. So um, you can do this with a USB drive. I wouldn't recommend it because, like I said, I use, you know, USB slots are precious to everybody. So I've done that. And 